Yeah, but they got behind the scenes and betrayed this person with multiple people. And um, it was all because they could not have a threesome with you and they were secretly admiring you too. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. They knew this person wanted to connect with you. This is somebody that's very childish. This is somebody that sat back and um, they got that pissed off because they knew that you weren't someone that was a Knight of Wands. You weren't someone that was promiscuous and you weren't someone that was going to just, you know, have sex with anybody. You weren't even just going to have sex with that person. It's like that person got jealous of that. You com Them coming in to connect with you, them coming in to express the way they feel to you when they just wanted to have sex with you. They were, this person was used to getting together with that person and having threesomes. And it's like, but this person wanted to come to you because they know that you're an ace of pentacles. So they wanted to come towards you with the ace of pentacles, a solid offer of commitment because they know you're someone that's loyal and committed. So this person wanted to come in equal with you and this friend got jealous. They made it seem like they weren't jealous, but they were behind the scenes with these toxic energies trying to keep this person chained to toxicity, trying to keep this person wrapped up, pressured and weighed down and burdened. Yeah, they went through the ultimate betrayal. You could have been betrayed behind this and backstabbed because of this friend that was secretly admiring you because they were possessive and obsessive over your energy and wanted to have sex with you. Yeah, Page of Wands is here. And then a Wheel of Fortune is here. So you could receive some type of communication uh, because this person, you and this person are destined to do something. You and this person are destined, was destined to meet up. This was your, you and this person's, this was destined to happen is what I'm hearing. Because this person needed to detach from all of these people that were backstabbing them. Betraying them. This person ganged up a lot of people out of hate and jealousy. All because they could not have a threesome with you and they knew that you weren't someone that was like the, the normal women or men that they would lay down with. And they were intimidated by that because they were secretly admiring you too. But this person was bonded and blinded to the devil, addictions, obsessions. And um, this person wasn't. It was like they were releasing whatever was keeping them in that devil energy. This person that wanted to come towards you and communicate with you. They released all of that. This friend didn't. And they were intimidated by that. They seen this person getting a solid offer of commitment and that weighed them down because they were admiring you. So they did something to betray this person because they knew this person was at the Knight of Cups with you. Wanted to come in and communicate with you, express the way they felt, give you a love offer. And they knew that y'all were destined to be together, destined to do things together. You were a part of this person's destiny. They're a part of your destiny. Yeah, you gave this person strength to want to grow. And that intimidated this friend to the point where they betrayed you and them behind the scenes. All because this person had love for you and they had this 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 devil energy had lust for you. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. They wanted this person to be confused. They wanted this person to think that a whole bunch of different options were chasing them down, sweating them. These were entity attachments. They had them place the entity um, spell over them or lustful energy over them. And as that person had detached from them, they were in that energy. They were confused. So that person basically snatched their energy back from that per these uh, seven of cups energies, all of these options, these multiple toxic patterns when they isolated and cleansed their self. And they got betrayed for that by somebody that they will least expect. Nine of cups is here. And then king of pentacles. Yeah, they knew this person was watching you as wish fulfillment and they wanted to commit to you. So they wanted to confuse this person quick, seven of cups. Make them feel like it's a whole bunch of people chasing them down and this and that. And these were people that were toxic patterns. People that are binded and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt that was meant to keep this person chained and stuck. With a lot of weight on them, pressure and burdens. Yeah, temperance is here. And then the hair fine is here. It's like this person wants to have harmony with you. Uh, 
and they want to have a a relationship with you they want to balance the situation out this is someone that you you and this person are two people that are loyal committed two people that believe in god y'all look up to god y'all pray to god these are two people that were ordained to do things for god people that are you know angelic beings very peaceful very temperance and balance this took place so this person could balance their energy out. You could balance yourself out masculine and feminine energy. Because you, you you and this person was sent here to do things. Greatness, I'm here for God. It's like y'all had to experience this, you know, different energies that were trying to confuse y'all. To keep y'all stuck. Not only this person went through different stuff like this, but you did as well. And that caused you to go in a whole nother direction. The fool card is here. Taking a leap of faith towards a whole new path. A whole new direction. Taking a risk. A risk that you would normally take. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. And then the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person had them walked away from a... Um, a bad investment, investing a lot of um, time and being confused, investing a lot of time of, uh, you know, running around with different people that are toxic, that were keeping them stuck, chained to a lot of addictions, obsessions, because they were obsessed. And it's like this person had to, you know, got tired of something. Yeah, they could have been tired of the energy that they were around or the energy that they were in. So that's why they isolated and um, chose to heal their self and cleanse their self and regain their strength back. And that's why all this took place. Somebody that they would least expect got mad because <clears throat> they couldn't get behind the scenes and just um, have sex with you. Have a threesome with you. So they feel like they, they seen something in your person that they didn't see in their self and they got intimidated by that, but they didn't want them to know. This is somebody that's, you know, they get behind... These people that get behind the scenes and do different stuff, they're really in fear of you because they're not going to do it in your face. So they're scared of you. They feel more comfortable doing it behind the scenes because these are people that are cowards. They don't have anything going for themselves. They're very sneaky. And they let the devil use them. Eight of Wands is here. This person is walking away from... Um, a confused mindset, bad investments, walking away to fulfill their destiny and their purpose on earth. And a lot of stuff is going to be coming in quick for them as they chose to, you know, take a risk and take a leap of faith. And heal and cleanse and pray. Detaching from this devil energy. God is gifting them. Ace of Pentacles is here. This person also wants to come towards you. Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles is here. This person has been watching you, observing you, studying you. They're trying to figure out how can they come towards you. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. Yeah, they're watching you, trying to figure out how can they come back around you. How can they re reunite with you? And they're studying you. Yeah, Two of Cups is here. This person wants to work with you and partner up with you. They know that you are their two of cups. They know you feel the same way that they feel. Yeah, the chariot is here. Yeah, they just want to move forward. And then ten of pentacles. They want to move forward so they can create this... Um, Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to have a, 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 you know, wealthy family life with you. Building a legacy with you. Yeah, this person wants their good luck. They want their will of fortune. It's like this person had been detached for so long. You could have been detached for so long. Binding and blinding to different toxicities. Different people that were placed around y'all to keep y'all at the Seven of Cups confused. Where y'all wouldn't be able to walk away. And this, it, it, you went through a lot. This person went through a lot. And all this person wants to do is move forward. To be happy. To have abundance, longevity.
stuff that they know they're worth. It's like this person had to go through all of this so they could stand up in their energy and know their worth. Know that they're worthy to be loved the way they love. And you went through that same thing too. Four of Pentacles and then Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has been have been holding on to you. And um, they want to invest in a life with you. They want to build something with you. They want to build this Ten of Pentacles. A lot of people were only holding on to this person because they wanted them to invest in them. They wanted them to keep giving and giving to them and they're not getting anything out of it. And they're realizing that no matter who it was, it was people that were just trying to hold on to this person, whether it was for time, money or energy. That was it. They weren't getting anything out of it. That's why these people were so obsessed with stalking you, watching you, spying on you. Because you didn't need this person for anything. They did. You're someone that loved this person the way they love you. And it's like these are people that didn't, they were detached from everything because they're binded to the devil. They're under control by the devil. So it's like these people were only spying on you because they were people that were holding on to this person for whatever they could gain. And this person wouldn't get anything out of it. Yeah, King of Swords is here. This person ended up cutting. Who is this King of Swords? Yeah, Seven of Swords and King of Swords. And Queen of Swords. Yeah, and then Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. These are two people that are very um, emotionless. I'm hearing the two people that are chained to the devil on the devil card. But they were they did a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes in a sneaky, deceptive way. Whoever this king and queen of swords is, they were um, did some stuff to you and this person. And they thought that they hadn't got away with it. All because they were jealous, envious, trying to sabotage you and this person's connection. These were two different people that um, this person could have been somebody that this uh, your person and their friend had a threesome with and they met up with this person. It's like once your person detached from that person, this friend was still attached to them, having sex with them. And um, that was hidden. High Priestess is here. They wanted to keep it hidden that they clicked up together behind the scenes, was doing a whole bunch of sneaky and deceptive stuff, having sex with each other. Even if this was, this could have been somebody that they were in a relationship with as well. Whoever this um, Queen of Swords is or King of Swords, take it where it resonate. They were trying to cover up something. So as I said, the first thing, if they were, you know, got together, had a threesome with this person. Whoever this King of Swords is ended up getting this Queen of Swords pregnant because this person has a baby on this uh, chair. They ended up getting pregnant. And they were being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Seven of Swords is here. They wanted to keep it hidden. This person got them pregnant. Whoever this friend was that was jealous of um, you and this person's connection. They got behind the scenes, got a third party, a karmic pregnant that was attached to both of them. Out of, you know, And they thought they were going to defeat the connection. They would have that person thinking that it's their child and it would just stay hidden. Something like that is what I'm getting. Also, this person wouldn't come towards you. And they be done did some sneaky and deceptive stuff behind the scenes, got away with it. And they had that person weighed down pressure and burden. And it was like this friend was um, still attached to them and this karmic behind the scenes. And they were just working together to keep that person stuck. Yeah, they wanted to have that person at the two of swords blinded from the truth. They didn't want that person to see clearly. So it's like as long as they stayed around that friend, they were confusing them. This is somebody that's very trifling. Whoever this friend is, they very sneaky and trifling. And they're always strategizing on how to um, do, you know, do something very vulgar and nasty. I'm getting this. I'm seeing this person doing a lot of stuff that's just nasty. And um, 
Yeah, this is trifling. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to go off all into that. But this friend and this queen of swords, they're nasty. They're trifling. And they went at all costs. Like, they were determined to keep this person at the two of swords. Determined to confuse this person. Determined to try to keep stuff hidden. To keep this person weighed down, pressure, and burdened. Yeah, this person is in regret, five of cups, for even being around these people. It was like they're in regret because they stayed around this friend. They could have wanted this friend to change or this friend could have seen them, you know, changing and they acted like they were changing. They were getting woke. They were learning about this and that. And this is somebody that was at the two of swords and seven of swords, trying to blind them to the fact that they were being snakes, sneaky, deceptive. Secretly admiring the same person that they're um, supposed to be with, who God ordained them to be with. And that's what kept your person around this friend. They thought this friend was somebody that was healing and getting woke. They didn't know this person was the devil. The devil was using this person to try to keep your person binded to, and, uh, to the devil and confused. To pin them down at the center source under this curse and hex. But it's like your person needed to know that they needed to detach. They needed to go through this. And it's sad that you have to go through a ten of swords, a harsh, painful ending. Because you're still attached to a person that had deceived you, backstabbed you. But you didn't know. You were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. And they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. This was the ultimate betrayal. They trusted this friend. This is somebody that they possibly did everything with. So as they started talking about spirituality and getting woke, now this friend is faking and false flagging around in a sneaky deceptive way like they're getting woke. They're all about spirituality. We're going to do this together and that together. Yeah, we should do this and that. And this person is behind the scenes at the Seven of Swords with this, this third party individual trying to keep this person confused because they're secretly admiring you and want to come in at the Knight of Wands with you. And it didn't work. It's like they kept going in at the night of ones with this karmic behind the scenes and they ended up getting pregnant. And that's what they're attached to. It's like two individuals that are attached to the devil. Toxicity. Different secrets and obsessions that they wanted to hide. They're bound to that. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is here. And it's like they're bound to the devil and you and this person are... are um, Two people that are committed to God, connected to God, the hair fine, and then the devil. And it was like these two people were sitting back trying to compete with you and your person. Secretly one up y'all, copy y'all. Yeah, page of pentacles is here. And then four of wands. <clears throat> it's like this person, this person, this friend could have told this other person, um, that they can get money from this person for a child. They're going to move them in a house. You can get a house out of this. You can get money for this. And all type of stuff. And this is this friend's child. They wanted to make sure whoever that they had to lay down with. And it was their child. Be stable. But also keep this person away from you. Because they was using this person because they don't have anything. They couldn't put their child in a house. They couldn't put the, the person that they hadn't got pregnant in a house. So they used this person to get their investments, whatever they can get out of this person. And they figured they would try to keep this person way down, taking care of somebody else's uh, baggage, their weight, stuff that they're not supposed to be carrying. This was the ultimate betrayal. This was a set up. Yeah, Queen of Wands is here. And then the Hermit card is here. And then Two of Pentacles is here. This Hermit card talks about keeping something a secret. It also talks about ghosting. Being left out in the cold. Going within to investigate. Could be an investigator. This person could have sat back and caught. These people could have lied and made it seem like you were a drug dealer. Because this Queen of Wands is like a hustler. They had went so far to make it seem like you were someone that sold drugs or you sold yourself. Had different people watching you, investigating you. As lies were being told on you. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. That's what this uh, 
Empress card, this is like a hustler. Somebody that's a street hustler. Someone that sells drugs. And then the hermit card is here. It was so many lies being told on you behind the scenes. It was like y'all got set up the ultimate betrayal. You, this person, you, the person that you're ordained to be with, and um, other people that believed it were set up. It was just lies being told. Yeah, they're under judgment. They're receiving karma for whatever they had to set back and lie on you. It didn't work. And it's like they just got behind the scenes, not even thinking. Trying to set you up to keep this person from coming towards you. And they'll be stuck taking care of responsibilities that's not theirs. They tried to have you trapped some type of way in the justices. I mean, they tried to confuse a lot of people. They could have called in and made it seem like you were a drug dealer. You were selling drugs out of your house. Just lies. They went far behind the scenes. And now their asses is receiving karma, judgment. A whole bunch of other people are being judged for listening to it. Listening to the lies. All because these people are jealous and envious and hateful. They could be caught up some type of way in the justice system and that slipped them under investigation. Because it's like when people call against you and keep, keep giving calls and keep calling, they don't know how to, uh, you know, investigators operate. They start operating what numbers, what, what numbers uh, gave the call. Where did it ping off of? What towers did it ping off of? And they ended up slipping their self under investigation and they're under judgment. These are people that were drug dealers. People that didn't have anything going for their self. And it's like they wanted to project their energy off onto you and try to make you look bad. And that's why they were spying on you, trying to observe you, gathering up information and then adding on false information to try to make you look bad. And it didn't work. Yeah, you're someone that's a nine of pinnacles, single, sufficient, abundant, a boss. You have your own business and it don't have anything to do with illegal, you know, any illegal activities. You're someone that's very fruitful. You're mindful of what you give your time, your money, and your energy to. You're someone that don't even be around people. You're always by yourself. And it's like they're under judgment because they just went out of um, hatred and jealousy and lied on you. They're blinded to the fact that they're under judgment. They thought they had a whole bunch of people investigating you off of lies and hatred. You're being seen as a nine of pentacles. Someone that can read energy. Someone that's saving their self for commitment. These are people that got behind the scenes and got mad because of who you are. You're someone that's self-made. They're not. They seen something in you that they didn't see in their self and they were intimidated. So they went and gave false statements. They called in constantly complaining and giving false statements on you. And had people watching you and they like, wait a minute, this is a setup. Whoever was investigating this immediately knew it was a setup. Lies were told on you and they immediately start investigating who called in, who gave this statement. And these people were not smart. They did something quick. Seven of Swords thought they got away with it and fled the scene and act like they didn't know why you were going through this and that. They were still attached to this person that was watching you as wish fulfillment. And they were acting like they didn't know why you were going through this and that. Why stuff was going on in your life. Why stuff was going on in their life. As your divine counterparts, whatever they were throwing at you secretly and they were attached to this person, your person was getting hit too. They didn't understand it to the point where they needed to detach from everybody because they cannot trust anybody. The devil will use anybody when you're going through a spiritual awakening and walking in your destiny and in your purpose. And this is what this person needed to know. You already knew this as you were at the nine of pentacles. Single, sufficient, abundant, being able to read energy, had done went through so much already. You didn't even be around people. You don't even be around people. That's why none of the lies stick. Yeah, tower. A lot of people are sitting back going through tower moments. Dealing with a lot of destruction, crisis, and damage that they haven't caused for their self. They wanted to take you through tower moments because you're someone that can stand on your own two feet and you don't need no help. You don't have to scam nobody out of anything or be manipulative or set nobody up to, or rob nobody or be sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. You're a boss. 
You're self-made. You're someone that's very honest, loyal. And they could not stand it. These are people that walk in toxicity. They're binding and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt and thought they would project their energy off onto you and it didn't work. They ended up getting karma. A lot of people that were attached to them ended up getting karma. Yeah, nine of wands in a reverse. It's like they could no longer do something over and over and over again. These were people that were just sitting back, getting high, getting drunk, thinking they had them one up you. They were going to constantly keep calling and calling and calling and calling and giving false statements on you that was not true. And they ended up getting slipped under investigation and they didn't know. Yeah, seven of wands is here. It backfired. They created blockages for their self and they did not know. Took their self through trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles. Yeah, four of swords. As you were just at the four of swords by yourself. Healing, cleansing, rehabilitating yourself, recharging your energy, laying situations to rest. Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. You're someone that take care of yourself. You love yourself. And they're looking at this, they're looking at these people as people that um, intentionally did this because you, the way you carry yourself, take care of yourself. And that you were in love with someone. And they were trying to keep this person blocked off from you. This is how they're looking at how, how petty and toxic these people went far behind the scenes to try to defame your character, to make you look bad because of who you are as a person. Stuff that they could never be. Yeah, the musician is here. You're someone that's a musician. You have a lot of creativity and foresight for your own future. And that's all you have been focused on. As I say, you're someone that mind your business. Whatever was taking place behind the scenes, you knew. But you also knew that they were being watched. You knew it would be backfired onto them, whatever they had to say about you. And they were going to go through that karma. Not only just one time, you know, when somebody do something to you one time and they come back on it. These people are going through this too with their, for the rest of their life. And they don't know this. This is what they manifested. As you chose to manifest an overflow of abundance from God. Blessings. Yeah, four cups is here. As these people chose to reject God. They're sitting back dealing with insecurities. Feeling rejected. Because they chose the devil and walking in toxicity. Obsessions. Letting different entities take over them. Queen of Pentacles is here. And then the Sun card is here. Yeah, you're someone that's very hardworking. You're someone that's very money oriented. You're a nurturer, a giver. And um, you nurture everybody around you. You're someone that cares about your wealth. I mean, you know, care about yourself, but also care about your wealth, your stability. Things that you're going to leave behind for your kids. And you focus on your, you know, you chose to focus on your stability, your family, and you being happy. You being at peace. And that's what they sat back and watched. You being this Queen of Pentacles energy, someone that's very loyal, honest, hardworking, someone that's very peaceful and happy, a mother. As they're at the Five of Pentacles, physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold, low vibrational, going through financial lacks, a spiritual disgrace, hadn't been left out in the cold by their ancestors for everything that they hadn't did to you in this person. Their ancestors don't even want anything to do with them. They block them off. Two of Wands is here. They're standing at a stalemate. Two of Wands not knowing which way to go in life. Thought they had you at a stalemate. They were sitting back watching, trying to see if whatever they had to lie on you about worked. As they had them caught and gave false statements on you. And this is what they were sitting back waiting on. Waiting for you to be picked up for something fraudulent. And it, it caused them to be under investigated. They could, these could have been a group of frauds. People that did stuff fraudulently. 
and they were just sitting back watching you being blessed, manifested, getting an overflow of blessings from God. <laughs> Six of Pentacles is here and King of Wands is here. Whatever this person did, it just came back on them tenfold. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. This person could be on their way to physical jail or they could have gotten wrapped up some type of way where they're going to jail for whatever they had done did to you. This is a key. Whoever this person is, they could be a um, fire sign. They walk in this air sign energy. This is a person that's very detached from their emotions. And um, they're very bitter. They don't love. They don't have any feelings. They don't know how to love. And um, they got they got caught up. If they called and tried to wrap you up or had a whole bunch of people behind the scenes calling and giving false statements on you because they wanted you to be stuck and look like a criminal, they're at this eight of swords getting ready to go to physical jail if not already wrapped up in a case. And they know why they wrapped up in that case, equal give and take. Whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad. The energy that you walk in, it got to be balanced out and the universe got to be balanced out, bruh or suh. 